Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27. And we recently made some improvements to our uh, edit future bookings feature. And in this video, I'm going to show you what those are. And they're really related to um, how to apply like changes in time or the frequency to your future bookings and also how to um, cancel several of your bookings in the series at one time. And so I'll give a brief overview on, on the edit future bookings feature for those who don't know. So whenever you have a recurring booking, uh, here I have one that's every week for this customer. And um, whenever you have a recurring booking, we don't create any of the future bookings until the current one in the series, meaning uh, this guy right here, the 29th, until this one is actually completed. We won't create the one for October 6th. So it goes like that where we don't create the next one until the current one is completed. And we recently made it possible to, um, oh, so sorry. So the reason why we forecast these is because a lot of people still need to know when these, um, these recurring bookings are going to happen so that they can see how it impacts the rest of their schedule for those future dates. And we never let you edit these before because they weren't real bookings yet because they didn't get created yet. So we recently made it possible for you to edit these. And we do so by actually creating the booking at the time uh, when you're ready to edit it so that you can make your changes and that they'll be in the system. So um, I'll just demonstrate it. So let's say I have one for October 13th at Friday, 8 a.m. And I wanted to edit this. And um, I'm going to click edit here. And it's going to say that we have to create these bookings first, meaning the one for the 6th and the one for the 13th. And just agree to that. So let's say I wanted to change the frequency from every week to every two weeks. And I also wanted to change the time of day to the afternoon for this date. And if I click change, save changes, you'll see that the system can detect that I made a change to my date and my time and my frequency. Really, this refers to the booking date and time, so that's why that's that. And then the frequency is we change it from every week to every two weeks. And you have an option. It asks you, how do you want to handle your future bookings? Should your recurring jobs continue from the date and frequency selected today or as normal? So um, this is the one that I'm currently editing for the 13th of October. And after that, if I say continue from the date and frequency selected today, that means it's going to start happening every two weeks and it's going to be for 2.30 in the afternoon. And um, so let's say I didn't want that and I just wanted things to be as normal, meaning that it's still going to be for every week and it's going to be for 8 a.m. So if I choose that, you see that the times here got updated so that I, I can, you know, uh, visually see what, what it's going to look like after these changes are saved. And so pretty much the, um, the frequency change is actually ignored if you make that choice because uh, really it can't be for every two weeks if you're telling it to stay the same at every week. And we also see that the, the time of day change is just a one-off change like that. And so um, let's say I wanted to continue from the date and frequency selected today. And um, you also notice that we can let you change these individual times and dates of these bookings like this. Like, let's say I didn't, I didn't want to do this on a Friday. Maybe I'm going to be out of town that day. I can change it to the Thursday and leave it at 8 a.m. Here, what if I wanted it to be, uh, I also want this to be at 11 a.m. So just make sure you click those check marks to say, hey, um, I actually want these to be saved like that. And now you see it'll be 11 a.m., 8 a.m., and then everything's 2.30, right? And then actually here is looks like it's you know a weekly booking and then and then the following week and then every two weeks after that. So um, for demo purposes, I'm going to leave that as is. But you could, in theory, change this to be whatever date you want it to be. All right. I'm just going to leave it like that. So click Save Changes. And now you will see that um, this guy was changed to 11 
and this guy was changed to eight on the uh, Thursday instead of Friday. And now here is going to be Friday. It's going to be every two weeks and it's going to be at 2.30 in the afternoon from now on. Um, so that's really just a shortcut for editing a lot of the dates and times at once and, and having more control over, um, I mean, being able to better visualize the impact of the change you make to your frequency and to your, um, your date and your time has on the future bookings. And the next, um, the next change we made, the next enhancement is just a easier way to, to cancel this entire series of bookings. And uh, you may be thinking about, well, all right, so what's so hard about that? Um, the thing is, we didn't, we didn't make it very user-friendly in the first version of this edit future bookings feature. And so now we're making it more user-friendly. Um, so I'll just get right to it. Let's say I wanted to cancel this one, October 5th. If I hit cancel, it's going to ask me, if I'm not sure. I'm, yes, I'm sure. And it's going to ask you, do you want to cancel only this booking for October 5th? Or this and all future bookings, meaning anything uh, after October 5th it will get canceled also? Or these specific bookings where, okay, um, I actually probably want to cancel all this stuff, uh, even the one that's happening um, before the 5th. So all these guys, if I want to do that, I can do that. If I just want to save one, I can save one, you know, or um, whatever. Any combination here you, th you can think of. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to cancel everything. Click cancel. And here you see they're gone. And uh, that's about it for our, our enhancements to the edit future bookings feature. If you have any questions or any suggestions on that, um, how to make this even better, please let us know at support at launch27.com. Thanks.